there. See, he's alive. Everything's fine. Right, what's this then? I can scarcely believe it. Everything I did, every sacrifice I made, all to reach this moment. You are free at last, Uncle. I know not what you did to make this happen, Kayla. Whatever it was, the cost was too great. Tell him, Kayla. Tell him the price the Sword Coast bore that he might be freed from Belifet's clutches. A heavy toll was paid by me and those who followed me. A heavier one still was exacted from those who stood in my path. Am I without regret? No. Would I do it again? Without hesitation. Then you have learned nothing. Retribution is all that is left. You will return to the Material Plane, close the portal to Avernus, and stand trial for your crimes. I am an Argent. I hold myself to the highest standard. I know I did evil, though I did it in pursuit of good. I must answer for my crimes. Divine Blood was the key to opening Dragon Spear's portal to Avernus. The blood of a powerful devil will lock it once again. We're gonna drag the body of the guy we just killed up. Here, take this key. It will open the Dragon Spear Vault. I'll not be returning to Toril. What? No, Kayla. I'll not allow it. She is the one who brought you to this place on Argent. She is the one who nearly unleashed the hordes of Belafet upon Toril. I can think of no more fitting punishment than her spending what remains of her life in this foul pit. The rift twixt the plains was opened by me. Not by my hand, but I am responsible nonetheless. I can do nothing to change the past. What future I have is here, in this place. That was true from the moment I first summoned Belafet. Uncle, please, go now, before Avernus's legions overtake us. Do what you can to redeem the Argent name of the shame I brought upon it, I beg you. I... May Lathander's light shine upon you, child. <sighs> This story followed the path I thought it was going to, and I'm displeased. And I'll explain why a little bit later. What did I drop on the ground? Oh, right, the dragon spear Thus thing. Thus ends right, another sister. chapter in the great tale of Edwin Odesseron. Gask someone, so you say. Hey, it's all of his loot. It actually came with us. All right, we'll pick it all up. We might as well get uh, his gear back on him. I mean, technically he survived. He did spend the, you know, the last couple parts of the fight just getting pounded into the ground by a demon. But it worked out okay in the end. It's a sad state of affairs that a dreary vault has as much of our misery won't mean very much to Hold your fire! Everyone, hold your fire! Yeah, don't kill me. It's good to see you. What happened? The portal to Avernus is closed. And what of our shining lady? Torsen de Lance of Waterdeep, let me introduce you to On Argent, Knight of the Order of Aster. I'll let him tell you what happened to Kalar. It is an honor to make your acquaintance, Master Argent. I wish it were under different circumstances. If there is anything I can do for you, please don't hesitate to let me know. Our forces are sweeping the castle now, checking for traps or pockets of resistance. The surviving crusaders have either fled or surrendered. The siege has ended, as is the threat of the Nine Hells. I believe the time has come to celebrate. Betting in the castle will be set up for you and other worthies who prove themselves in battle. When you finish celebrating down here, speak with Sergeant Dazzo. You'll find him on the stairs to the main floor. He'll take care of you. Is that all you've got for the savior of Dragonspear? You can do better than that. Three cheers for the hero of Baldur's Gate. 
I'll admit I had my doubts about you, Eltamar, but you proved yourself more than worthy as an ally. I am honored to have fought beside you. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to go check on Ski. With Kaylor defeated, there will likely be some revelry, and she can be overly celebratory if you grasp my meaning. She's going to get hammered and do something stupid. Alright. Um, anyone I really want to talk to in this area? Let's find out. I guess Torsen, maybe? Good. You're still here. I was hoping to have a word with you in private. Really? Forgive me for saying so, Torsen Delance, but I rather got the impression you didn't like me. I made some hard choices down here. Do not think I made them lightly, or for personal reasons. I am sworn to protect Waterdeep, and I will do whatever I must to fulfill that oath. I see. Actually, it's that city I love that I wish to speak with you about. Baldur's Gate has done well by you, I know, but... Have you ever considered taking up residence elsewhere? The lords of Waterdeep have deep pockets. They could make your life very comfortable. Intriguing. It would seem we have much to discuss. We will talk again soon, I'm sure. Until then, relax. The gods know you've earned a rest. Thank you. Maybe I will go live in Waterdeep. It's a nice city. And if I really get you know, antsy for some evil, I can go to Skullport. It's really close by. Andrus. I'm impressed. When I learned it was you in the vault, I wasn't certain you would be equal to the task. I'm rarely so pleased to be wrong. I don't even know who you are. I know Dosia. I'm on it. Alright, Fuzzy. Nope. Nothing useful to say. Rafus. No, I don't really care about the characters I didn't take with me. They're all goody goodies. And they didn't do anything. Well, I think we won, technically. I guess we have to go do our outro type thing. Who do I have to talk to again? Sergeant Dazzle, there he is. Still we wait. Well met, Eltamar. I am Dazzle of Waterdeep, and if I may say, it's been an honor to fight alongside the former hero of Baldur's Gate. Former hero of the gate? Have you heard something I haven't? Baldur's Gate can no longer claim you for its own. You represent more than a city. You are a champion of the Sword Coast and all the realms. I am my own man. Do not think otherwise. You will only be disappointed. Now it's time I got a good night's sleep. Past time, in truth. You should head upstairs and get some rest then, sir. Enjoy the respite while you can, my lord. You can't be sure how long the calm will last these days. The celebrations last long into the night. Between the feasting and drinking, you hardly have time to shake hands with all those who want to thank the hero of Baldur's did went too fast. You might have to read the rest of that. Everyone's drunk and sleepy. And I wake up and wander over here. Ski Silvershield. Born into privilege, yet driven to rebel against the destiny her father mapped out for her. She has been challenged, as you have. Has she proven worthy? Or been found wanting. Let us see. What's happening? I, I don't understand. Is no. she gonna die? No. Yep, I think Ski just died. No, what the? Oh, I killed it in a single hit. Okay, that's not so bad. Did I just kill Ski? Oh, damn, I'm going to jail. The hells? No. Gods! No! What have you done? What have you done? That seems obvious. The better question is why I might have done it. You killed the daughter of a Grand Duke of Baldur's Gate. Gods help you. No one else will be able to. And my group just shows up, they're like, ah, uh, so you just murdered someone. But my group loves to murder people, so... I don't see this going badly for me. Oh, Vicania just bailed. You 
you right. Right, what's this then? I... In the name of the Council of Four, you are under arrest for the murder of Ski Silvershield. You will return to Baldur's Gate to be tried for your crime. This isn't what it appears to be. I don't know what's going on, but I didn't do this. I couldn't have. I wish I could believe that. Well, you can. All you gotta do is just believe it. You return to Baldur's Gate under circumstances much darker than anyone would have believed. What should have been a moment of crowning triumph is instead a nightmare beyond your understanding. Ski Silver Shield lies dead, seemingly at your hand. The Siege Force's clerics are unable to revive her. Her magically preserved body has been transported to Grand Duke Entar Silver Shield, who clings to the faint hope that his daughter might someday be resurrected. You share that hope. Without Ski, you may never know the truth of what happened that dark night. You flat out murderer. Once you thought yourself free of your father's taint. But as you journeyed to Dragonspear Castle, you realized this was not so. You are a child of Baal, Lord of Murder. A piece of him resides in you. Has it grown beyond your control? Was yours the hand that plunged the dagger into Ski Silvershield's breast? You do not know, and that fact haunts you. When you left Baldur's Gate, people cheered you as the city's hero. Now they look upon you and see something very different. Indeed. Ballspawn murderer, your divine blood will stain something cobblestones. You're gonna hang in abomination, the stones of Boris Gear are scarred with the truth. Something. I can't read that goes too fast, so. I'm no better than Saravok, though. That's the gist of it. I'm an evil person. And they're not wrong about that, that's the thing. Hey, where's my swords? We've heard the testimony of those who traveled with the Flaming Fist expedition to Dragonspear Castle. Many told of how the accused was found in Dragonspear's main hall with Ski Silver Shield dead at his feet. I see. Corporal Bent's Duncan bore witness to a disturbing incident involving the accused at Borskir Bridge. He is here to share his recollection. I don't think you're supposed to have trials out in the open. Bridgeport was under siege by the Crusade. The accused led an attack, driving Kalar's forces off. After that, he collapsed while crossing Borskir Bridge. The symbol of Baal, Lord of Murder, sealed itself into the stones around him. True. Child of murder, evil poisons your blood. The accused has freely admitted his tainted heritage. I'm his sorry. blood is no proof of guilt. But we cannot forget that Saravok, a man who shared the same lineage, almost plunged our city into war. Well, Tuvok, I never liked you either. Thank you for your service, Corporal. You may go. Jerk. As for you. Yes. Our diviners have presented evidence of your deeds since oh the God. Gate. Deeds that speak to your character. This is gonna be awful. Is there anything you wish to say in your defense? I'm no hero. I've done many terrible things in my life and done them proudly. If I had killed Ski, I would freely admit it. Elaborate. Hmm. I had no qualms about releasing a formal priestess of Ball into the world. I would admit it at once if I committed murder. So noted. Is there anything more you would say in your defense? Yeah. I was given a special mission at Dragonspear Castle. Poison the Crusader's supplies. Any tool is a useful one in war, and I agreed to the task. Don't have my deeds. So noted. Is there anything more yeah. you would say in your defense? When the soldiers at the Coalition camp found, fell ill, I could have recommended they be killed to prevent infection. Instead, I did all I could to find a cure. So noted. Is there anything more you would say The pursuit of Kalar led me into the wastes of Avernus. A fiend offered to let me pass freely there if I sacrificed one of my companions. I offered myself instead. So noted. 
We've heard much evidence today, both for your character and against it. Now we, what is that commotion? There's a giant crowd, that's the commotion. Out of my way, out of my way, you sniveling pigs! You need to calm yourself, sir. You do, that, my lord. do you know to whom you speak? I'll have your family on the street begging for coppers if you don't let me pass. You do not want to do this, Entar. Do not tell me what I want. I know what I want. You! Murderer! You killed my little girl. My ski! I don't know what happened to Ski, but I intend to find out. You put on a good act. But I know the truth. It wasn't enough to slay her bodily and leave me childless. You had to destroy her soul too? This is not the time. Tell me what you did with it, fiend. Before they send you to the gallows, tell me. What did you do with the dagger? What are you going on about? I don't nothing of any dagger. The priests can do nothing. She's gone forever. My ski. He's being escorted order. back to his estate. Give me order or I'll have the square cleared. Order. A father's grief is an irrational thing. Let us return to the facts. We've heard the evidence and your own defense. Have you anything else you wish to say? What is this dagger Duke Silvershield spoke of? What happened to Ski's soul? Peering into the weave, our diviners determined that Ski Silvershield's soul now languishes within an artifact called the Soul Taker Dagger. All efforts to locate the dagger have amounted to naught. While her essence is imprisoned thus, Ski can never be returned to life. If we had the Soul Taker, she might possibly be restored and confirm your innocence. If indeed you are innocent. Guilty, I say. Guilty. The Flaming Fist will take custody of the prisoner until a decision is reached. Take him away. Okay, bye. Did you hit me with my... I'm gonna shove that sword somewhere you're not gonna like. Sorted. Hmm. It would appear that I'm stuck. Good morning. Is it morning? Hard to tell in here. I'm not here to discuss the time. I'm here to end you to or ask you to end this madness. The city's endured much of late. The Iron Crisis, Saravok, the Crusade, now this. The dark days must end, and they won't, not with you languishing here claiming innocence. If you care for Baldur's Gate even a little, admit your crime. Accept the punishment given to you. I'd be more than happy to declare my innocence while languishing somewhere else. Maybe you are innocent. Maybe the eyes of all that saw you standing over Ski's corpse deceived them. It doesn't matter. The city is all that matters now. My father taught me that a hero, a real hero, is prepared to sacrifice himself for the greater good. They called you the hero of Baldur's Gate. Now you have the chance to earn the name. Goodbye. I'm not going to do that. Now we just have to wait calmly in our cell. Surely somebody else will come by and let us free. Hello. I hear something walking. I never thought to see you like this, Abil. Blood on your hands and fear in your eyes. I thought you to be more clever. Did you come here to taunt me or you can help me get out of here? Alas, I cannot. I would like to help you, murder or no. You saved me in the past and I would return the favor. But if I were caught, I would be executed without a thought by the brutes who run this city. My life is perilous enough. I cannot tie it to the life of a murderous ball spawn. Then this is goodbye. Farewell. I could have called you friend. Perhaps one day our paths will cross again. They will. In Om, and I'll save your life again, even though you're leaving me here to die, you jerk. Chains become you, child of Baal. The people you saved have turned on you, treating you as some nightmare made flesh. How does it feel to be trapped in a cell? 
after all you've done for this city. Release me, release me, or I swear I will find a way, or I will find you and make you pay. Hollow words. The lion's roar is not so fearful to the man who holds the keys to its cage. I warned you of the darkness running through your veins. Divine blood is not to be trifled with without control. Power is naught but peril. But I am confident you will survive this. A greater destiny awaits you. Did you just KO me? Why would you do that? Rise. It is time. You know what you must do. Embrace the darkness coiling within you. Take the dagger. Kill her. It's cool looking dagger. Even now you resist. You are more powerful than I thought. All that I truly require is your presence. Curious, your mind is not so open to me as it once was. You resist my will. Your power grows, child of Ball. Awake. Tell me, what did you see? It was you. Actually, I saw your death. An inevitability, perhaps, but your eyes tell me another story. What did you see? I saw you die screaming at my hand. I looked down at your corpse and laughed, for my vengeance was complete. You had paid for your crimes against me, paid for Ski Silverhand's murder, Silver Shield's murder, with your own wretched life. Despite my efforts, you remember. Impressive. I will show you impressive, mage. When I escape, I am coming for you. Greater powers than you have challenged me, yet I still stand. You will escape this place. We will meet again. Fear that meeting, child of Baal. We have so far to go together. Bye. I would like to be let out now, please. Oh, we can sleep in here. Is that a backpack? Does it have, like, a key in it? That'd be good. I'm having the sleep of a lifetime. Hey. Hey, wake up. Wake up and move your ass while you still got an ass to move. I'm awake. I was merely resting my eyes. Rest him on someone else's time. Who are you? Don't matter. What matters is the bag of gold your friend Immelwin gave me to get you out of here. And the four other bags of gold she's given me when I pull it off. Five bags of gold? She doesn't expect me to pay her back. Take it up with her. After I've been paid. Let's go. If things are in the central chamber, you can pick them up on the way out. Cool beans. Where in the central chamber? Table? Table. Would help if I didn't have a completely full inventory full of junk. Mm -hmm. Just casually putting back my armor. By the way, this is going to be a longer video just because I want to get to the end. We're so close. Why am I still carrying around Battle Axe Plus Ones? I should have sold those ages ago. I'm just going to throw them on the floor. Why are there so many things to carry? I think we're going to run out of inventory room, in all fairness. Nope, just enough room. Cool. Where are we going? Over here. You can get out to the basement. And then what? Then we escape, and you can see your girly again. Imuin and I are friends, nothing more. I'd rather we weren't even that, as often as not. That's fascinating. It really and truly is. Can we leave now, please? Yes. Where's the basement exactly? Oh. Durr. Right, what's this then? Oh, 
I saw it too. A secret exit in the bottom of the Flaming Fist headquarters. God, I love the city. Well, the city don't love you no more. Now listen, when you get down, there's a waterfall to the east. Flows down into a lake in a cavern. You'll find Immelwyn near the entrance. Now go, quickly. I might have to break this video up. It's getting really long. Like we're a little, almost an hour now. Really? They're going to throw slimes at me at the end of the game? With poison. What the hell was that? Spit it out. Right, I don't know what happened, but I exploded. Right, what's this like, not even a little bit exploded. Like, seriously just blew up. I don't know what just happened there. Maybe it's a trap? Okay, I'm gonna have a quick save. Huh. Well, that was weird. Carrion crawler. And a corpsicle. What's on the corpse? There's a damp note. Why are they throwing all the stuff at the end of the game at me? We fought the big bad, there's no... Yeah, whatever. Okay, we don't need a wardstone, we don't need this. We don't need that. I don't think we need that. I'm pretty sure we don't... Oh, well, I need that. I know we don't need that. Alright, good enough. I don't know what the rusty key does. Apparently there's a cache that it opens. I'm not thrilled that I'm dungeon crawling again at the end of the game. It's not that I don't like dungeon crawling, it's just it doesn't fit with the atmosphere they had built up. No cash. Also, that poor guard. I'm sure you had a family or something. Okay, we're not going over the waterfall yet. We have to find this cache first, because I don't want to miss it for some reason. Not that it'll carry through into Baldur's Gate 2, considering we've already done Baldur's Gate 2. Oh, another flaming fist. Goodbye. Nothing there. Surprised they have so many guards stationed in the sewers, it's kind of weird. Hmm. Alright, let's just quickly... Ah, maybe there's no cash. Who knows? Maybe I missed it somewhere. I think we'll be fine without it, personally. Let's just go meet Imowen. Go over the waterfall, call it a day. Whee! The tunnel ends abruptly, the stream of filth flowing through it, and into emptiness, tumbling through the space below. Wrong turn. Oh. Hands in the air. Get away from the opening. And if I don't, what will you do? Cut me down? Is that any worse than what I'll expect from Entar Silver Shield? You've earned your fate. We were fools to bring the child of Ball amongst us. Ski Silver Shield paid for it with her life. You will pay with yours. 
I know what I saw. You were standing over the body of Ski Silvershield, Duke Entar's daughter. His daughter! Uh, I understand now. This is about Roma. Don't bring her into this. You won't like where that ends. Roma's already lost one parent, Captain Corwin. Do not let your pride cost her another. You threaten my daughter? <laughs> you just made your last mistake. Take him. You are the captain. Take them. No. No! It's not enough. He has to die. Bye. Die in the name of Ski Silver Shield. Kill him. Hey, there's the key area. It's garbage though. Get over here. <laughs> Where are we going now? Killing another green slime, it would appear. And we quick save. This is a longer dungeon than some of the dungeons we actually did in the game. There's a door. What's this lead up to? I don't know. But it's nifty, whatever it is. You and me both. I'm so sorry. I should never have let you go to Dragon Spear without me. You make it sound as though you could stop me. Boy, do you have to take every little thing as a personal affront? <laughs> Come on, let's get a move on. It's only a matter of time before the Flaming Fist figures out where you are. With Imowen's help, we oh, have escaped. Hey, everyone. I got him. Rejoice, Boo. Oh. Friends have returned to us. I'm certainly not your friend. But people have said one of our friends has been up to no good. I never thought I'd see thee again. Knowing what I know, I would have preferred it that way. Thou art lucky to have a supporter as passionate as Imoen. Were it not for her, neither I nor Minsk would deign to look upon thee. Never mind, assist thee in escaping justice. Fair enough. So Uwin's hireling told it true. You escaped the Fist and Silver Shield's justice for the moment. I promised Karayan to watch over and protect you. Your actions make me question that promise. Could we maybe talk about this someplace? You know, far away from here? Yep, let's roll. Forward. Oh, guys. Okay, BMW, you need to know there's a logical endpoint, and you got to get to it at Pretty some point. Sure the flaming fist isn't on our trail. Can we take a break? Just for a minute? <sighs> sure. What are we waiting for? That's not a good sound. Do you feel a little off? Your eyes burn as a thin, acrid mist rises from the ground and envelops you. Your mind clouds, shadowed figures strike and fade away. Your companion's cries echo in your skull, and the world around you fades to grey. Failed my fort save. Save versus poisons. Need more con. Okay, we have reached the actual end of the game, finally. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> I know it does. it's supposed to bridge the gap between Baldur's Gate 1 and Baldur's Gate 2. Siege of Dragon Sphere, I should say. But here's my problem with the storyline, and it's bugged me since 
mm, pretty much well not early on but when I saw the uh, the ending that I that did happen coming so in return or in regards to the you know accusations that there was SJW stuff in the game and there was to some extent but that really had no bearing on the game and it was blown way out of proportion in my mind do not care even the tiniest little bit about any of that junk what bothers me about the game is the actual story so what this story should have been I think and what would have made it more compelling is not to have you know the good guy quote unquote um, you know, backstabbed by a demon and taken to Avernus and her uncle was there and oh dear, bad things happened. That's kind of what I thought the storyline was going to go. I knew it was going to be some sort of backstab and she's been betrayed by, she's been led astray by demons the whole time and that's just such a done story. What I was hoping the story was and I was really kind of, it looked like it was building towards it, was that Kalar was going to be this, this pinnacle figure, this paragon figure who thought she was doing a good thing and then over time her character would develop and she would realize that she is doing the evil things so she is the good person doing evil whereas our character the child of Baal the tainted blood you know born to do evil character quote unquote because you can build your character however you want but your bloodline is evil traditionally we end up doing the good things, so it's it's a it's a clash, it's a, it's a contrast, right? And that's what I was hoping would be in the story, and at the end, the end battle would be like, you know, not even a huge battle. There could be a demon, I don't care. There could be something neat to fight, or a dragon, or something like that. You always need a cool final battle. I'll give it that. But the story itself should have progressed towards her realizing she's become evil, and either not caring and continuing, completing her fall, or you know, realizing that she's done this and then trying to atone for it in some way. But instead, it just turned out to be a stupid demons were corrupting her. She was doing a selfish thing. Oh, look, the good guy was doing the bad thing for doing the good thing for a bad reason. Ugh. Just not happy about that ending, in all fairness. But you know what? It wasn't a terrible game. It just wasn't what I was, well, actually, it kind of was what I was expecting from what I've heard about it, but I had hopes that I was wrong, and I sadly wasn't, but anyways, that's going to be the end of this series. As I always ask at the end of the series, if you liked it, please subscribe. I'm not sure what our next series is going to be. We're going to finish up Final Fantasy VI, and then we'll figure it out from there. I'm mostly just trying to kill time at this point until Pillars of Eternity 2 comes out in May. So we're not going to do any big, big games until then, but we'll figure a next series out. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below, otherwise I'll see you all next time. Take care.